Okay, so the following intro is the punchline of a joke that I have yet to make. Why not take a crazy chance? Why not do a crazy dance? If you lose the moment, you might lose a lot. So why not? Alright, so when I was about eight or nine, I wrote a story. And this story was about these three identical triplets who were separated at birth and adopted in the human realm, but once they turned 13, they were visited by a magical talking unicorn that told them that their mother was the queen of the land of fairy, and over the course of the story they learned that they could grow mermaid tails at will, that they could sprout butterfly wings at will, that they could talk to animals whenever they wanted, and near the end of the story they married identical triplet princes and formed a girl band that did covers of Hilary Duff songs. Writing is like riding a bike. You're gonna wobble a bit before you get a steady rhythm. I think every writer has that one story that they wrote, whether they were six or fourteen, that they cringe at. And that's fine. They are able to laugh at that. Fan fiction is well, I'm not going to explain fanfiction. You know what fanfiction is. Most of the time, it is completely written by one person. And anyone can publish onto these sites, from 9-year-old girls to 78-year-old men. That's fine. Cool. Yay. Online publishing, if you're not looking to make money, is good. There are such communities around each fandom. I'm not going to explain the term fandom either. I'm going to assume you know what that is too. You get good feedback and you get feedback pretty quickly depending on which characters you have written about. Sometimes an author will write from the point of view of an original character. Dun dun dun. And if the original character is female, then this character will inevitably no matter how well written, no matter how well thought out, no matter how well loved by so many people, this character will inevitably be called a Mary Sue. There are hundreds of blogs on LiveJournal, WordPress, Tumblr, there are Twitters, Facebook pages dedicated to seeking out these characters, which are almost always written by a girl under the age of 13, seeking out these characters and completely tearing them apart. And some of these blogs are dedicated to doing this in the name of feminism. Because the characters are so unrealistic, they give women a bad name. A Mary Sue is a character that has low self-esteem, or high self-esteem, is pretty, is plain, normal, is extremely powerful, has blue eyes, has green eyes, has brown eyes, has blonde hair, has brown hair, has black hair, has red hair, um, has curly hair, has straight hair, has dyed her hair unnatural colors, Wears makeup, doesn't wear makeup. Do you see where I'm going with this? Characters will get called this for the slightest things. And really, if you don't want your character to be called a Mary Sue, you just shouldn't publish it at all. That term, once you call a character that term, or you call an author a soother, you immediately assume that they are completely full of themselves and need to be taught a lesson, and it's terrible! Please be nice! Please be nice, and I don't understand it because the fanfiction community, and I'm making an assumption, the fanfiction community is mostly women. Unless it's the My Little Pony fandom, but we're not talking about them. So what I see are older women telling younger women that they can't write. And what we need right now are voices. And what we need right now are female voices. And you're making them stop. I was following a girl, not following physically, but following on fanfiction.net. I'm going to be honest, her stories I mean, the grammar was a little off, and the character development was a little off, but she was young, and I was leaving her good messages to encourage her, because teenage girls are incredibly vulnerable, and I remember needing support, and I got that support, because I shared it with friends, and I think some of the friends lied to me. Looking back, I think some of the friends lied to me about how good the story was. And this girl completely deleted her account, and I think she was suffering from depression, and it's terrifying that I can't find her anywhere because she used a pin name, first of all, but second, she completely deleted because so many people were making fun of her. And I have no idea what's happened to her, and it's scary, and it's sad, and it makes me angry that so many people would devote time to sending what is obviously a young girl hate. And if you think that it could be better, give her advice, because that's what you do with every other fanfiction, to help them be better. You don't tear them down. So we have to take responsibility for that.
subscribe to my vlog.